Hey guys, what's going on? Today I will be doing a quick tutorial of the plugin Imposters Minigame by NKTFH100, which is a plugin that brings in the super popular Among Us game to Minecraft. This plugin it currently supports Minecraft versions 1.16 and above. Dependencies include holographic displays, protocol lib, and player points. You can also have crazy stuff from the original Among Us game into this plugin, such as imposters, tasks, sabotages, and more. First step is you have to make your own arena. I have the command pulled up. You're just going to run the command slash A U A create arena. This is actually a recreation of Skelb by Barbercraft Builder Wizard 99Y. We're gonna set the minimum players, which is three. The maximum number of players will say 12. And the number of imposters, we can go ahead and set that to two. And bam, there you go. We have successfully created the arena. After you have created the arena, the next step is to run the command slash AUA, add location, followed by the name, Skelv, and then the location name. Uh, as you'll know, we are in the cafeteria, so we have just added in the cafeteria. Now that we have added in the location, we can go ahead and add in a task. You got to be standing right at the spot that you want the task to occur. So here we are with this lever, and we can go ahead and do slash AUA set up, and we're going to click on our map scalp. Here we have a really nice geo menu of everything related to the map, such as its settings. You could view all that. You could edit task or add more, sabotage, spawns, locations, vents, cameras, doors, uh, disabling the map, jumping, sprinting, everything. You know, the lobby location, meeting button, map center, hide holograms. Uh, that's just a lot of setting stuff. But anyways, we are focused on tasks here. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And we want to set this for cafeteria. Now we can go ahead and click create task in the bottom right. And now we have to go ahead and find the right task. I believe the task that we're looking for is empty garbage. And bada bing, bada boom, it's not a perfectly centered um, task, but that is okay. The task has been added, my friends. All right. so. All the other tasks are pretty straightforward. So now I'm going to show you guys how to add in a sabotage. First things first, you have to make sure you have a proper location for the sabotage. So we're going to add in O2 as a location. Next up, we are going to go back to slash AUA setup and then scale. And we have sabotages available for us to edit. We're going to add in a sabotage. We have a few locations already. We have oxygen, so we could go ahead and add this in oxygen. And bang, we could go and look at the locations added for the sabotage for the oxygen room. And you can also delete the sabotage as well. Next up, we have a pretty easy portion and that is going to be setting up the spawns. You're, these are going to be spawns that exist around the emergency meeting button and they have to be the same amount as the number of max players. So we actually have 12 here. So we can go ahead and bang, add in a spawn point really easy and cleanly. Um, we can go ahead and just add in one more. And as you can see, that one's already been set. We can go ahead and add this one. We'll just add one more for illustration purposes and then you guys can just imagine us adding in the rest of the spawn points. Next up we have vents. Once again you're going to return to AUA setup. You're going to go over to the vents section. There you can have different groups of vents and basically vents in the same group are allowed to teleport to each other but you cannot vent from group to group and you can add vent groups by clicking on this crafting table. If we click on the vent group, we can actually delete vent groups. We can enable or disable loops. I kind of do like um, the whole loopable thing. I think it's more true to Among Us. And then we can go ahead and click on vents and we can go ahead and add a new vent. So here we can go ahead and set the location and it is in cafeteria. 
So bang, we have just created a vent in group zero set for cafeteria. Next up, we are going to add in the cameras. So we're just gonna hop onto here, do slash AUA setup again, and then we are going to go over to edit cameras. There are three main components. You can enable or disable cameras. You could set the camera's hologram location, which is what we want to do here. So we're just gonna go bing, bada boom. And the camera hologram's location is set to right where we stand. And you can actually even see the hologram. Next, we can go ahead and set up a actual camera. I uh, like this little corner spot. So we can sort of look into what the stone's eating, I guess. We can go into Skelv, edit cameras, edit cameras again, and we're just gonna click on create camera and we are in cafeteria. So that's where we're gonna click and bam, we have a freaking physical camera here. How sick is that? All right, next up we got doors. Doors can function as a different sort of sabotage for the imposters to use. So we're gonna go ahead and go into doors, add a door group, we're gonna set the location. I think this is still technically part of um, the cafeteria. And we're gonna go do AU setup once again, go back into the doors, and then we can go ahead and click on this door group. And then we could go ahead and add in a door. Bam, that's door zero. And then we click on this, and then we could go ahead and set the corners. So we can go ahead and set the corner for the first one and then we could go ahead and set in the second part of the corner which would be like right here so let's go right back to the doors bang 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 and now we have a full door isn't that kind of amazing guys alrighty guys we're getting pretty close to wrapping things up we could just do aua set up and all we have is the map center which we already set when we created the map but if you're unsatisfied with it you can move it next we have the meeting button location the lobby location and a few basic settings so here we are we could go ahead and set the meeting button location bang that bad boy is set and it comes with a cool hologram i'm standing a little bit off center but that's okay for tutorial purposes for the lobby location normally you're on like some kind of rocket ship blasting off or something but i thought just for fun we could go ahead and do it on this cute little pirate ship mix things up a little bit so bam this is where players can wait to join the game we also have some stuff possibly to set up signs and stuff for users to join as mentioned before there are a few key settings that you can edit directly from the gui menu this are for the visual tasks enabling sprinting double uh, jumping disabling the map, hide holograms, enabled reduced vision. This one can be a little bit laggy, so you might consider turning this off, confirm ejects, move map with player. This is for if your map is too big and you wanna downsize it for smaller players. Dynamic number of imposters, I really like this a lot. So there'll be one imposter for seven or less, or seven or more, there'll be two imposters. This is how people normally play among us. Um, we also have blocks from the shield visual tasks and vital locations, but that's typically not used on Skelv maps. Setting up join signs for this plugin is super easy. You're just going to go into brackets and type in AU and then the arena name. Then bang, we have just set up our very own nice looking Among Us MC sign. All right, so now we're going to do a quick test game. This is not going to be like official Barbercraft gameplay, just so you guys have an idea of what's going on. I actually have another gameplay video with my boys. I'll leave that down in the description below. It's an absolute riot. You can also view the cosmetics here. So here we could go ahead and select different cosmetics. This is if you're the imposter and you want to kill someone. So we could go ahead and set it to like the carrot or something, something funny like that. And now we can go ahead and join. As you guys know, we have a minimum player count of three to get started. So we're just waiting for these boys to go ahead and join. And what is super cool is when these guys join, they are in 
color and everything. You can even go ahead and select your color. We go ahead and set it to blue or something. I think that color suits me pretty well. All right, so we're starting off here and I am the crewmate. So here I am, we could go ahead and do stuff like report and use specific tasks. As you can see, when someone walks out of the glass boundary, they completely disappear. This is actually what the limited view looks like for uh, players. So that is super duper cool. Here we have the shields. So we go ahead and click use. And then we are going to just want to set all this bad boy to white. And bang, we got coins. And that sort of stuff can go towards your cosmetic shop. Also stuff on the right hand side that you see like the www.example.com that can all be edited very easily within the config. So here you got a bunch of garbage. You're just gonna click on the white block and boom, task complete and we get some more coins. That's what we like to see. Uh oh, um, I'm not really sure who's the good guy, who's the bad guy. Let's go ahead and report someone. Let's yellow it. Oh, nope, uh, I just got killed by Autumn Reese. That's okay too though. Alrighty boys, uh, looks like Mr. Barbed Wire is the con fit. I mean, looks like Mr. Barbed Wire is the imposter, baby. Um, I'm actually on a call with these fools, so um, they already know that I'm kind of the bad guy here, but here's what I got. I got a kill cooldown at the top, a sabotage cooldown. I can still uh, fake tasks, report, etc. We can go ahead. I won't kill this guy yet, but we have our um, carrot right now. We could go ahead and, uh, and you know what? We can kill him. Bam, instant victory, GG guys. And as you guys can see, when you win, you do get a few more coins than ordinary. Last but not least, I wanted to go ahead and showcase little bits and pieces of the config for you guys. All right, to get cracking at the config, you're going to go to the Among Us folder. And we have a few different YML files, such as config, cosmetics, items, messages, sounds. I think mostly everything is actually set up really well all together. You might wanna edit the messages YML a little bit to make sure the information there pertaining to servers matches up with your server. For instance, the server IP or the website. Here we are on the config itself. Most of the information actually already exists in the GUI menu, which is why I'm not super concerned about it. But there's stuff like give lobby items, show all the running arenas, uh, do ghost fly, TP to lobby on join, that sort of stuff. You can even set up bungee cord, which is pretty nice. You could have a server just dedicated to um, Among Us. You could set the main lobby and this is where users will join when they join the server. There's also stuff like MySQL support. You can even set block commands so players can't communicate when they're not supposed to. Just tons and tons of interesting stuff here. We got some stuff related to the colors. Here's all the arena stuff. And like I said, you can set all this stuff in the GUI menu. So I'm not gonna spend a particular lot of time on it. There's like the vent groups, the door groups. Just pretty much keep in mind that you can also edit this stuff within the config. And here's stuff like disable jumping. Actually, I think disable jumping should be set to true. Wasn't a big fan of having that off, to be honest. Um, here you got imposter vision, which is set higher, crewmate vision, etc. Just a lot of stuff that you can edit. Pretty much anything that you want with this plugin to be edited, you have the power to do so, which I like quite a bit. Well guys, thank you so much for sticking around the video until the very end. I greatly appreciate it. Again, I'll leave a link to my server along with the server IP, along with the link to download this plugin on Spigot. It's free and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Best Among Us related plugin that I have seen yet in true honesty and also keep an eye out for my imposter mini games gameplay video. Thanks for watching everybody and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Minecraft videos. Peace.